Willkommen zu dem zweiten Teil von Danganronpa. Goodbye, Despair. Despair. <lacht> mm. Nun. Ich habe vergessen, was ich sagen wollte. Egal, wir starten jetzt einfach. Anfang an. Vielleicht doch nicht. Wir spielen es auf Englisch, weil wir den ersten Teil auch auf Englisch gespielt haben. Und dann muss ich auch nicht alle Dialoge vorlesen. Ich nehme die Schwierigkeit auch wieder kind, weil ich nicht mehr alles weiß. Hey. Can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think. This entangling the twisted knot that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right. I... I... The day it wasn't just a typical day for me it was a day that felt truly significant and when that long-awaited day finally came I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself does that make sense actually That's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Hope Speak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rap team. And even since, and ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy is a government-founded school for the privileged, 
allied of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and in doing so shape the future. Whenever Hope Speak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of the school. Well, that's so basically what Hope Speak Academy is all about. It's as they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend the school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope Speak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope Speak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope Speak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else. The truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself, and formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. My hero academia. <laughs> That's why, to feel like a member of society, to become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to. Ah, what's going on with Hinata? For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always, 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 always. Until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why. Hope. I might have admired talent, individuality, but I have finally forever tried my best, finally came true. Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No. I should hurry. Huh? Who goes there? Um, are you feeling all right? You look quite pale. Um... Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at the school, right? Uh, then... 
You're all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. These guys, everyone? Freshmen who were accepted into House Peak Academy, the ultimate? I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? <laughs> hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Uh, ah, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they are called the ultimates, but. They're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others and while trying my very best to act cool. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here. And then a classroom door appeared right in front of me, as if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. What? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so... Is there like an entrance ceremony or home run happening now? Hm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. <laughs> Is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom and this guy is the 16th student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. And just what are we gonna talk about? The reason we are all gathered here in this classroom? <laughs> First I need to confirm something out of everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Uh, we all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. Also, hier startet das Spiel ungefähr so wie auch in Dungeon Round 1. Wir gehen zur Schule, wir erinnern uns, wie wir in die Schule reinkommen. Und dann plötzlich landen wir in einem Klassenraum mit unseren Klassenkameraden und keiner erinnert sich, wie die dahin gekommen sind. Plötzlich sind sie da. Und ähm, hier kennt man auch ein paar, nee, eine Person, die wir schon aus Teil 1 kennen, nur ein bisschen dicker, der Biakuya. Also zumindest sieht er so aus wie Biakuya. Und ähm, mal gucken, ob der auch so heißt. I see. So, before you realized it, you were in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you, stupid looking ones, should agree, right? What's going on? Is this sure is strange? Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! What do you mean, stupid looking? So, in other words... The moment you set foot on the campus, you felt a strange dizziness and now you're here and don't know why. <laughs> that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... <laughs> the dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. <laughs> Even if it's just a coincidence, 
It feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? So in other words... Meaning we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Ah, I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... It's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? We can't leave. Impossible! And seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Huh? Hey, it would open? I can't open it! Huh? Uh, why? <coughs> a little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. But the door wouldn't budge at all. Hey, hey! What's going on? Sheesh! Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? And what? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? Is it, that's not possible. She's right. It is impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyways. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? This is... Or perhaps... Doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope Speaks Academies? However... But according to Hope Speak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... They mean this. They may say that publicity... But it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! Ah, you're wrong! This is not an entrance exam! What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass! Why do you make the cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight. But that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Then whose is this? Um... It's actually mine! <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin! What is that? It is Sailor Usa. Or so ähnlich. Magical Girl Usa. Usagi. <laughs> um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical Miracle Girl Usami. A.K.A. Usami. I may not look like it, 
But I am your squeezably soft teacher. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Nice to meet you all. Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? No, I see too. Huh? What's with this talking Chihuahua? <laughs> hey, there's a Chihuahua? Everyone! Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> That's what I am! A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot! Oh? Hold on, let me pros process this first. Okie dokie! Um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance and talk before. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote controlled, doesn't it look too lifelike? It's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and the mannerism are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it is just said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me! Of course I do! I'm the lead teacher of this school trip! What did you say? School trip? Come on! Hey, what do you mean, school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chapter owned trip with a lead teacher! It's the biggest event of the school year! We are not looking for such a literal answer. Ding, ding, ding. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. Depart? couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What the hell? <laughs> okay, what the hell is this? No matter how I tried to re rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable, utterly crazy, blandly wrong. Um. Huh? Are you kidding me? Stay calm. <laughs> There's no reason to panic. See, look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washed away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um. Where? You ask? Well, obviously we're... Yahoo! Out there it's better! Out where it's wetter! Out by the sea! <laughs> yeah. Under the sea, under the sea... Understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, 
you know your throat gonna get worse if you keep screaming like that something like this but we were just at school and now we are by the sea this is impossible no problem please do not worry the school stream has just started that's all hold on a sec But like why are we go we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope Speak Academy. I see. Ah, Hope Speak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy. And in that case. Please forget about Hopspeak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. What? Faster. The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? What? Whoa, whoa, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. It's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever, so please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Do you just said island? Yup, and it's certainly it's beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? <laughs> what? Hawa <laughs> Kill each other? No, no way! Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain, it's a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah, yeah so scary! What are you thinking? Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? I shall announce it to everyone right now! While you all react on this island, Paradise, you must get along and straighten your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on this heart throbbing school trip. What did you say? Heart throbbing school trip? That's right! Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey dove heart throbbing school trip is... Everyone's homework! What... What the hell does that even mean? Now then, let the heart throbbing school trip begin! It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering, my mind ground to a halt.
Manchmal denke ich, zum Glück ist die Kamera nicht an. <lacht> ah ja. Ja, speichern direkt mal. Speichern den Spiel. Hey, hey Mann, was ist? Can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Bevor ich weitermache. Frage ist, kommt euch diese Stimme bekannt vor? Kommt euch diese Stimme bekannt vor, die gerade spricht? Aus Teil 1? <lacht> es ist kein Spoiler. Hey. Are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. White sunny beach. Crystal blue ocean, the sun's ray, the sun's rays beaming down on me. This soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope Speak Academy. Why did this? Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we are on a tropical island. You're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse you can maneuver the practical blah blah. I know. Before I talk to that guy, I should try to understand the situation I'm in first. Okay. I guess it makes sense for there to be a palm tree on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen's blank. What is this being used for? Hmm. Is that a camera? A civilian's camera? Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's this? What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Chill guy. The crystal clear shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calm down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Nagito Komaeda. Ultimate lucky student. Hey. Wir sind diesmal nicht so lucky. Was ist dann unser Ultimate? Ah. Along with my introduction. I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know I hope Speak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case it's pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. 
I'm in the ultimate li I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student. You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Oh, speaks Academy is the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery? Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me? I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope Speak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Come Speak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vogue as luck. Vague. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope Speak Academy. So for that, I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a lot of place here. <laughs> Sorry. I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. But yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Um, Nagito Kamaeda, huh? Okay, an dieser Stelle erkläre ich auch ein bisschen was zu Nagitos Person. Also, nicht viel, es ist kein Spoiler. Weil im Grunde weiß ich auch nicht, warum das so ist. Aber wenn man Nagito Komaeda sich genau anguckt, also den Namen, zusammen, dann ähm, ist es ein Anagramm zu Makoto Naegi. Man muss ja auch bedenken, dass äh, im Japanischen das ja immer selbenweise getrennt ist. Also Na, Gi und To. Ko, Ma, E, alleine und da. Also wenn man dann raus, also wenn man das umwandelt, die Silben, dann kommt Makoto, Naegi und das Da bleibt über. Und das Da wäre dann so, dann hätte, würde da stehen Makoto Naegi da. Und es würde dann so viel heißen wie, ich bin Makoto Naegi. Warum wir das gemacht haben, ich glaube, einfach zur Verwirrung. Oder aber auch, die hatten ein verstecktes, einen versteckten Sinn dahinter. Bisher wurde nichts aufgeklärt, also ich bin jedenfalls nicht fündig geworden, warum das so ist. Aber es ist nur zum... Hey, der Typ ist ultimate lucky, sein Name ist ein Anagramm zu Makoto Naegi. Und ähm, er hat auch die gleiche Stimme im Englischen und im Japanischen von Makoto. Also, das ist sehr interessant. Ich glaube, das ist schon Absicht, alles, aber warum? Ich weiß es nicht. Vielleicht hat ja einer eine Idee. He doesn't seem like the moment... Uh, he doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, I'm Hachime Hinata. Mm. Then let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts telling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Ha! 
huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Hey, did something just beep? Hop fragments. What? A weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now def definitely came from the inside of my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was pass passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> Alright, you seem pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but what is this? It's an e-handbook! What the? Where did you come from? I'm sorry! Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um, anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for the school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. This device is that important? I shall explain. Everyone to use the e-handbook to gather all the hope, e <laughs> hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right. Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. And gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of the school trip. Love, love. Love, love. <laughs> hey. She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears when ne wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments. What's your deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather com comforting. That means we're going to be in a danger right away. Uh, that means we aren't going to be in a danger right away. You're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. And that's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Okay. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island name? Is the, there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? So why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? 
I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll take along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? Ich glaube, ich habe an um, das erste Mal, wo ich das Spiel gespielt habe, dachte ich, hm, vielleicht ist ähm, Nagito wirklich der, also ist wirklich Makoto und hat Plan, was hier abgeht und unterstützt uns und ähm, weil er so chillig ist und ähm, will uns auch nicht alleine lassen, weil er noch das im Kopf hat vom letzten Spiel, aber wir finden es raus, was abgeht. But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate? Or is that... What's her name? Usami's fault? What happened? What... What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? You are now able to use the handbook. Okay. You can open the e-handbook with it. Okay. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which documents everybody's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more. You can also view the transcript with the F2 key. That's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. That's absolutely recommend to play. <coughs> Egal. Alright, you can exit the beach with the R key. Okay, das hat sich also nichts geändert. Yeah. Hey. Oh, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually, to be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? You don't know? This school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then, was I also... Hmm, I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. I won't expect it. <laughs> well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hopspeak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too. So why don't we begin making your introduction? Okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on this island then. Oh, should I apologize? There was something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you will be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an question uh, explanation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the 
WASD keys. You can run by holding the Mushard key while you move. If you press the Q and E key, you can also instantly move to the next area. When they're practical response, you can go inside place by pressing the left mouse button. Okay. You probably realized that by now, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to place instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. It's a bridge. Hajime. It looks like if you go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> That's what we're going to. We had to find out, right? It's not safe. When we get there, then what will you do? The park. This is a park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so nice. Such a late back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the keyword. How are you? introductions going, I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. Yep, I noticed it. It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions, such as walking, examining and talking to others. Every time you level up, you will become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. Okie dokie. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Okay. This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very appro approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. <laughs> Hey. Ah, Yakuya, have time for a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction? <laughs> Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. Hi! Chupisa! Na? Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. Spoilst du dich? Oder spoilt ihr euch? <lacht> My name is Byakuya Togami. Also heißt er auch Byakuya. Äh, Ultimate Affluent Progeny. Ja. I'm done. That's it, right? 
topic of I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. <lacht> ja, vielleicht etwas. Ja, passt schon. Früher oder später findet hier sowieso alles raus. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's Biako for you. What do you mean? Actually. That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He is next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations and his net worth is well enormous. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He is the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. Hmm. You there, Hajime was it? Eh? Tell me, why did Hope Speak Academy chose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, the thing is, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently, he's lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. <laughs> How foolish. Um. Yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good for at, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? Obtained hope fragment. Wie <laughs> fett Ja, schon ein bisschen. Was ist das Ding eigentlich? The bronze statue of Arias animals, plus it's pretty huge. Amazing! <laughs> wow! What a grand statue! Yeah, it's grand, but isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid! I mean, look at it! It probably symbolizes the whole island! It sure is grand. This island symbol, huh? <laughs> okay. Jabberwock Island. Und da kann man nicht hin. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. It looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge, but it seems we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Hajime, the kleine Krüppel. Aber ich mag den Charakter. Ich mag den ehrlich gesagt lieber als Makoto. Ne, da kommen wir her. Dann gehen wir mal. Was ist das? Was ist das? Eine Farm! Eine Ranch! Mit zwei Kühen! Warte, wir wollen ja zur Ranch. Wo ist denn die Coral? Mm, this looks like a ranch. Though there aren't many animals around. Right? Oh, you found it out! You again, seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick? Huh? Is she talking about the toy she's holding? Still, I am quite troubled. 
A wrench without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Success. What was all the just now? A chicken changed into a cow? That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of a trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Yep. Yeah, it sure is peaceful. <laughs> if that cow was raised on a tropical island like this, it's probably really tasty, don't you think? Was it even raised here? Based on appearance, it looks like just a regular run of the mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? Was a vogel? A tropical bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Usami coral, huh? I guess it's a ranch. How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. Yo! Hey, who? You dudes! Hey, Tessa! Danke schön, danke! Ich klinke grausam, ich weiß. <laughs> Soll ich machen? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Gotcha. And who this other dude? What? <gasps> Haven't we already met? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ja, gesund werden. Aber wenn ich gesund bin, dann muss ich arbeiten. Da kann ich nicht streamen. I pretty much suck at remembering names, and I've met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nakita Kamaeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Well, Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast and an all around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic abilities of the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered, no matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performance must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you... Unexpected. <laughs> I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose.
just as I thought. A blank screen. It doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is that? Even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. <laughs> Most athletes don't have 50 mil <lacht> little milk jugs. <lacht> ja, in dem anderen Spiel war auch eine, ich glaube Schwimmerin war sie, aber sie war in unendlich vielen anderen ähm, äh, AGs, wie man das auch heißt, wie man das auch nennt, ähm, eine in Sport AGs und hatte auch 50 little, äh, 50 little milk jugs. Das stört äh, Videospiele und Animes ja nicht unbedingt. Squish, squish. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hachimi Hinata. I'm Hyoko Sayanji. Ultimate traditional dancer. Squish, squish. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what she's, is she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young, I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche <laughs> or something. Hey, what exactly are you doing? I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ants, duh. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> if you're squishing the tummies, just right, it makes this awesome sound. Thank you. Wanna do it together? Hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you was this kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Yep. <laughs> Ich glaube, wir sind hier fertig. <lacht> Irks, ja. Oh, Hotel. Hotel. Wow. This is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps... The Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word of for future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. <laughs> we can live in a ground hotel like this. I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We won't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base. So why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. He has... Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? <laughs> A map will be displayed if you press the tabulator key. 
I say that the letter key don't make me repeat myself. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. Ah. Typ mit Klopapier. Ich wollte die ganze Zeit auf Klo. That's right. You have told me your name. You haven't told me your name. My name? I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Ultimate team manager. Nice. Um, hello. I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hajime Hinata. Please do it. Thank you. I can't just... Hata. Comment it. Don't forget it, even if you go to hell. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. You don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> I agree to your terms. Yishu is boisterous. It's not just his voice. His whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. Ach, das wissen wir schon. The ultimate team manager? So he's not an a team, he just manages one? Nope. He's not just a team manager. After all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to num numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs m managing the teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. Roma has it. He's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> but with a build like the, his, He'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. How fragment obtained? Oh, there is noch ein anderer Typ. There's no other Frau. Ah. Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy's already in a crappy mood. You. What are you looking at? You got something you wanna say, bastard? Now, now. <laughs> Relax, Fuyuhiko. You're only here to introduce yourself. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves? Hey. I see you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Ultimate Yakuza. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Fuyuhiku um. is a high school student and hired to the Kuzuryo clan. The Kuzuryo clan? Don't tell me he's. Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryo clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the national in the nation with a membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate yakuza. The heir to a yakuza clan and it's the Kuzuryo clan no less. Actually. By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That's what well, that was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. 
Nagito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. <laughs> I guess not. Hey, bastard. If you're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? Okay. Also, have we been gesprochen? That's right, Chop. Hey! Aren't you the guys who were squatting on the beach earlier and burying your faces in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it ri yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiru Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Ultimate photographer. Actually, Mahiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a pho photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera ha hanging from her neck. I kind of assuming that already. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Huh? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can tell if they are really ultimates or like just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? We don't know? That's what this stuffed animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone. Come on! This joke of a school trip will be over and we can all leave this island together. That's all we have to do and we can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? Jeez. Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is like really important. Ah, sorry, ich glaube, ich brauche eine kleine Pause. Zehn Minuten oder so. Ich komme gleich wieder. Lauft weg, wenn ihr wollt. <lacht> so. Jetzt kann es weitergehen. Ah, halt. Stopp. Wir wollen ja Spiel zeigen. Hey, you should pro <laughs> Hey, you should be paying close attention. This is like really important. Hey. <laughs> well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so. What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. It doesn't make any sense. I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that'll all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. 
Not a big deal? Really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning. Then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Oops. Sorry. Uh, you. Don't eh uh, me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know. Uh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad. Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unre unreliable, Hajime. You better do your best. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Ist ja ein bisschen krass drauf. Ich glaube, wir gehen da rein. I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand too. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? It's an uninhabited island, it can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this whole hotel looks pretty well kept and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? State your business. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction? Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. Ultimate Swordswoman. Whoa. Actually. This dignified looking woman is known as the Ultimate Swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Hey Cloud! Whoa! <laughs> Und Suchtgefahr, was geht denn hier ab? <laughs> Hallo Raider! F was zur Hölle? Warum? Oh, danke für den Follow! Für Mara! Mara is following us! <lacht> hey, warum steht da gar nicht, dass das geradet wurde? Oder bin ich blind? Echt? Der wird nicht gezeigt, wenn geradet wird. Oh, das ist ärgerlich. Oh, es tut mir leid. Ich habe gar nicht mitbekommen, weil es nicht angezeigt wurde. Ja. Aber fühlt dich wie zu Hause. Und ich hoffe, meine kaputte Stimme stört euch nicht. Ich bin wirklich äh, am Sterben zwischendurch. Und was habt ihr denn vorher gestreamt? Was hast du gestreamt, Cloud? <lacht> Passt schon, Ellie. Ja, ich hoffe. Wir beschweren sich. Manche sagen, klingst wie ein Junge im Stimmbruch. Die anderen sagen, ey, Ellie, geh mal hier dich gesund pflegen. Nichts? Naja, nichts kann man nicht streamen. Habt ihr Just Chatting gemacht oder irgendein Spiel gestreamt? 
Hallo Bombe. 872. Rein ist das Setting drei Stunden lang. Ja, warum nicht? Wenn es Spaß gemacht hat, warum nicht? Würde ich auch machen, aber da brauche ich Leute. Ich rede doch nicht gegen die Wand. Hey Blue! Schön unterhalten, ist doch schön. Schön, schön. Hallo Rainbow Six Elite. Elite, keine Ahnung. Wahrscheinlich erleid, weil es hier auf Englisch ist. So. Na, wie geht's euch, meine Lieben? Und Hoho, Claude und Thunder. Ja, Lu, wer ist denn sonst deine Lieben? Hier. <lacht> Boah, danke für den Follow, Rainbow. Gruselig immer diese Stimme Fresh Meat. Ich finde es ja gut, aber stell dir vor, dass bei Phantasmophobia, wenn du gerade im Raum stehst und auf den Geist wartest. <lacht> Na ja, Adi, Eli. Yay! <lacht> Krasse Action hier, krasse Action. Ja, ich habe ja auch komplett die Stimme kaputt. Ich lese hier vor, versuche die ganze Zeit die Stimme zu ändern. Je nachdem, welche Stimme ich spreche, sterbe ich. Und dann hört sich meine Stimme noch kratziger an als vorher. Aber ich will mir äh, Mühe geben. <lacht> ja, ich, ja. Was man das nicht alles macht, ne? <lacht> Alter Thunder, ey. Fällt mir in den Rücken. Ja, was soll ich machen? Ich kann nicht die ganze Zeit krank im Bett liegen. Ich möchte auch mal was streamen. Und ähm, ich mag die Spiele und deswegen ist mir eigentlich auch egal. Dann sterbe ich halt dabei. Hauptsache äh, Spaß. Ich habe mir aber selbst tatsächlich noch gar nicht angehört, wie ich mich anhöre mit kranker Stimme. Das müsst ihr dann tun. <lacht> no, nicht sterben. Ja, ich sterbe nicht. Ich bin durchgehend am Husten. Ich weiß nicht, hat man wahrscheinlich gestern gehört. Die ganze Zeit im Stream. Weil, ähm, da hatte ich keine Möglichkeit, das zum Muten oder... Der Sander hat dann einfach kein Push to Talk angemacht und während er gesprochen hat, oder selbst wenn er nicht gesprochen hat, habe ich äh, in sein Mikro sozusagen reingehustet. Das war auch unangenehm. Müssen wir da irgendwie. <lacht> Was Sander sagt. Oh, Disser. Du bist mich immer am Dissen. Dis Disser ist mich immer, wo er nur kann. <lacht> That's my job. <lacht> That's my job. <lacht> das ist nicht nett. Puh, habe ich doch nicht nötig. <lacht> Nein. Alles gut. Ich finde die Musik so schön. Chillig. Hey, 
jetzt gar nicht weiterspielen. Hm? Also ich dachte, die sind da zum Quatschen und dann, wenn sie gegangen sind, spiele ich weiter. <lacht> Nein. Also wer Bock hat, kann gern bleiben. <lacht> Ich stelle es mir noch schwierig vor, dass die dann mir alles, an, alles anhören. Cloud so, macht Fahrschule? Cool. Ich sollte auch weitermachen. Aber ich kann gerade nicht, ne? Äh, wegen Umstände jetzt krank. Oh, Blue bleibt. Cool. Ja. Wenn es dich nicht stört, dass ich so eine kaputte Stimme habe. Aber du kannst mich auch gerne muten und das ist einfach so. Leider kann ich das nicht trennen, dass man nur meine Stimme muten kann und den Rest sich einfach anguckt. Dann muss man leider das komplett <lacht> komplette Spiel, das kompletten Stream muten. Okay, wenn es nicht stört, dann ist gut. Ich weiß ja nicht, wie schlimm das sich anhört. Okay, dann mache ich weiter. Also, sorry, wenn ich dann nicht gleich auf die äh, Sachen reagiere, die ihr schreibt. Weil wenn da jetzt so eine Konversation ist, dann oder irgendein Event, wo die Leute selber reden, dann quatsche ich da nicht rein. Hey Lu! Das ist ja immer spät. <lacht> Hast du gerade geschlafen bei Cloud im Stream und dann plötzlich, oh, ich bin bei Run Solo Gaming. Sag, sag ich jetzt Hallo? <lacht> ha, was bist du jetzt nicht im PC? Warst du im Lurk oder bist du gerade online gekommen? So, hast du viel Uni-Sachen gemacht? Wahrscheinlich, ne? Heute ist ja Montag. Okay. Hatte heute Zeit, weil Info ausgefallen ist, weil der Prof krank ist. Ja. Das passiert auch. Die Profs sind auch manchmal Menschen. Aber Betonung auf manchmal. Okay, mach ich mal weiter jetzt. Oh, Lu. In Info bin ich eh schon meilenweit voraus. Ja, nicht schlecht. Ich äh, bin... Hm, also, was Info angeht, habe ich gar keinen Plan. So, aber jetzt wirklich mache ich weiter. I've heard she's a kind of master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's a definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that a sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a this aimed blow can be fatal. An aimed blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. Die ist echt gefährlich. There's some girl playing an arcade game and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. You haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Chiaki! <gasps> Sorry, 
I must be a little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little? Are you sure about that? Um. Let's see. Uh, right. Introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Also so ungewöhnlich. Also ungewohnt, nicht ungewöhnlich, ungewohnt. Die Stimmen im Englischen. Ich meine, die sind wahrscheinlich, also die sind gar nicht schlecht, aber ich bin so an die Japanischen gewohnt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Hachime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Yep. Totally. It seems like this conversation is going rather slow. <laughs> well, she's gaming right now. Well? It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my, ma in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? So, this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing! It's enormous! We could easily hold a bouquet here. It kind of has a tropical open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. That's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, I'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Poison? I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Denied. Denied? Good day. Hello. It is nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Haji Mihinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. Wait, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets I'm known as the ultimate cook. Oh, die Stimme passt irgendwie nicht. Der hat normalerweise so eine quietsche Stimme. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? Ultimate cook. <laughs> I hope you get along well. I am sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I have not probably introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. Ultimate Princess. <laughs> I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Same here. I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can be helped. She is not as the, as the ultimate princess, which means she's actually a royalty. Reality. The ultimate princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but 
It's not just her beauty, she's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, it's maybe rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Okay, Mara, tschüss, danke fürs Vorbeischauen. Hi. In my home country, I did not have a single friend. My age or standing in society matched my own. So, to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. I shall exalt. Stall your virtues. Stall my virtues? Thanks. What the? I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Mm -hmm. Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> Teru Teru is so like you to check out the restaurant first. It's the ultimate chief. Do you like it? I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar then truthfully. Yeah, like I like it. Well, guess that's about it. Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. Mm hmm. Hey, are you understand? Refined? Cultured? Guilty as charged. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick. I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Peko is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong too. What are your thoughts on that? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on! No, thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um. Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we'll discuss this later. I'd better not see you try that again. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Okay, Cloud, danke fürs Vorbeischauen, danke für den Raid. Schönen Tag noch und viel Spaß in der Fahrschule. mich ja auch nicht alles nicht umgeguckt. Okay, jetzt bin ich rausgegangen. Egal. Habe ich mich auch nicht richtig umgeguckt. Rezeption. Es ist I thought a blank screen. It doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is that? I guess this is the reception's desk, but there's nobody here. Da fehlt doch noch. Da fehlen noch ein paar Leute.
Lauf, Hajime, lauf. Ach, da ist doch noch so ein Market, genau. So, this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Guck mal euch die Cola-Flaschen an. Gibt's solche bei uns auch? Ganze Gallon. <laughs> Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. It's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around. We're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. Well, that can be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? It's nothing. Eh? She's staring at me. Funny. She crying. Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything. <laughs> ah, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart. We can get along. Ultimate nurse. Well, you know, <laughs> my mind's drawing a blank from nervousness, and I went through all the trouble of preparing. 5,000 different topics to discuss after introduction. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. Well, wait for you forever is this what it takes? <laughs> Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her to. So, what's your deal? Ha, <laughs> Mikan is the, is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help. So it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. I'm sorry for laughing so loud suddenly. I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. I'm sorry. Not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Pulling a girl. Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Okay, gehen wir schnell weg von der Frau. Peking. Peking. Hello. Who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello. 
The tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh, that's right. Introductions are a go-go. Buki, me da. Put it together, and what do you get? Ibuki me da. Ultimate musician. All right, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. I they see. got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst pasta, ooh, melons. No problemo. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from your barrio wood shop here. Die sieht cool aus. Ja, die ist echt durch auch. Yeah! I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked of all this deliciousness. And I'm excited. I get hungry, hungry. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get so excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> Human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> This energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an old girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently the hit single After School Boy a Boy an Hour sold over a million copies. A super popular all girl high school band? That sounds familiar. Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Are you interested? Wow, you could hear me? <laughs> the ebook is a musician after all. Guitar! Like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Paris, and Senna. I too am an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing? Wait, most of those people you mentioned to weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool, so we... Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ich weiß nicht. Ich glaube, die sind ein bisschen mehr durch. Die sind alle ein bisschen durch. Ich guck mich hier ein anderes, obwohl riesige Cola Flaschen. That's one a big cola bottle. I waited go flat before you could even finish drinking it. Monomall. Whoa! Looks like a vending machine, but it doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. Um, so these are military goods, huh? They even carry night vision goggles. I can believe this supermarket even sells stuff like this. Okay. There must doch noch mehr sein. Oh, yeah, I know. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes? Couldn't we use those planes to escape this island? Ah. That's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who is doing that? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? 
And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right. Oh yeah, that reminds me, you and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a seven when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? Yeah, it <laughs> it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it, it's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything uh, that was mentioned in the safety precautions for this school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Okay, Blue, guten Appetit, bis dann! Rule 1. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful, peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Rule 2. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Rule 3. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's beautiful nature in mutual prosperity. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any students violate a rule. For now. It looks like we are being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days no shit. hope. Just as Usami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to help us to do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. Right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare closely at the strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. <laughs> to go so far as they completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Stop right here. If you vol your lives, do not come any closer. Wow, it's from Zuschauen in manche Mods hier. Es kommt ja darauf an, wo du... Vielleicht ist ja Blue Wall Essen gegangen. Vielleicht ist sie gar nicht zu Hause. Fine. I said stay back. Oh, very well, I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage is recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well. 
for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Ultimate Breeder. Rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. How's master are you? Eh? <laughs> Smartphone zum Weiterschauen mitnehmen. Oh, <laughs> das Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Huh? What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Answer me now! Though I shall cast you into a watery grave on your do. Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible. So I'm an insect. Face your powerlessness. Ah, your magic has and caps at lowly la five. Trash. It's trash, really. Meal. Hey, is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Damning evil by using myself as a bad. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my favorite dark divas of destruction, Mirage, Golden Hawk, GMP, has this to say. We are not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he dates planetly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal and even manage to succeed at prof proliferating and endangered species. Rumor has it can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. Was that a school bell just now? Huh? Hajime, look at the monitor over there. Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that we... Uh, we can do that after we go to the beach. Is that pre precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Up 
voll. Such ignorance. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's talk. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impression of this island. Now that you mention I happen to notice Namaris block of bridges on the central island. Oh! Oh, those are there, so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and that rabbit showed up and told me so I'm telling the truth. What? Um... Bring sie alle um, sagt Tessa, du brauchst Essen zum Überleben. Um... Ja, das Ding ist, hier gibt es eigentlich genug zu essen. Und keine Sorge, ich werde schon früh genug Leute umgebracht. So we don't get lost? Is this island really so big? <laughs> But if you look at it in the death, it's just a normal island, right? It's got report and everything. Well, now that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey! Also, there is a big ranch! There's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Um... Proteine. Ja, wir haben eine Kuh und wir haben Hühner auf, dem, auf der Ranch. Erstmal die essen, dann den Rest. The hotel was really nice, too. I'd be It'd be great if we can stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seems to create it to a more plebeian taste. Hi. Can you guys listen to what I want to say too? I found something very important on this island. Girls, very, very cute girls <laughs> all over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps! <laughs> All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit. Such ignorance. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth? What does he mean? Hey, what do you mean? Yakuya. Hey, what the most serious truth? Did, did you find out something about this island? <laughs> okay, bring the fat ins first. <laughs> But he is klug. No, he is... He is a dumb cop. Have you all gone to the park that across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I heard before. And there's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy en animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Hä? Huh? That island's name is Jepperwork Island. Could it be? This island be? Jepperwork Island? Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, there's something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Chapawak Island is already... Hm. Never mind. Huh. 
How the fuck is this most important? Ja, wenn du weißt, wo du schon mal bist, ne? Die sind ja da irgendwie gelandet und gucken, dass sie irgendwie da abhauen können. Und wenn du weißt, wenn du schon mal weißt, wo du bist, ist doch eigentlich ein guter Ansatzpunkt, um da rauszukommen. Und wenn die wissen, okay, ich bin irgendwo im Nirgendwo, dann wäre es vielleicht, ähm, wenn die jetzt irgendwie Schiffe bauen würden und irgendwo raussegeln, dann wissen die gar nicht wohin. Eine Insel, von der niemand weiß, wo sie wirklich liegen soll. Ja. Aber der weiß alles, deswegen. Hold on! Hold on it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I let you know once I obtain more information. I don't care what is this island called. Nico Nico Island or Popular Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here, right? together on this tropical island sure is exciting. I'm super looking forward to it. <lacht> ja, Blitz wird für die Wetter umbringen. Na. Sieht so. Und dann siehst du, wer Fettsack umbringt. Oder ob Fettsack jemanden umbringt. Right on. This ain't a bad goo at all. Hey, you guys! I like it! I like this island too! I can't say the same about the rest of you cretins! Did I hear something? I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. He <laughs> said there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope Speak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead? No matter what, it's completely weird! Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Uh, plus, even if you want to leave, there's no way we can. There's no ship and the planes are just for show. From what we've discovered, there's no way to contract the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call us for, to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's impossible! There's no way we can swim that far! Show some spirit! What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you, that's impossible! Then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you! No! You can't do that! That's the biggest of no-no's! <laughs> Have a drink now getting some weird of pity. <laughs> Recall the guidelines of the school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island on bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peaceful on this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather thing finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Oh, uh, what danger? It's a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now. As long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. Yep. And so long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that? There's no other choice but to believe, for now that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, Usami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Ah! That's right! 
Well, of course I didn't forget. Bravo, bravo. This is it. Don't be upset. I've prepared one for you all. Don't worry. What is this? <laughs> it's an Usami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Bravo, bravo. What a waste of time. Aww. Man, I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute. Especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. Well, Simon doesn't meet a rabbit, you know? Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everybody received the strap, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey, you can't turn nature with trash! See, even you think they're trash! Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. And I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. You have something else? Um, well, compared to the Osami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I've prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? That sounds familiar. Hey. That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. I've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought I'd be great to do something island themed. <laughs> like what, are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correcto! Wow. Is this a festival or maybe a miniature shrine? Oh, how wonderful! Anyway. Excuse me, Miss Sonia. My loins are still full of poison and I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Wait! Knock it off, Tero Tero! Oh, right. oh you're tender lines? You betcha! That's... Just ignore him, Sonia! I'm just waiting for the glass this girl to pull a sniper rifle out of your backpack. Nein, das ist ein Bambuschwert. I got it! If you're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. A campfire sounds fun. Let's kill! Let's find a hoop snake and kill it! You serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has different ideas, but it, if we're gonna be at the ocean the first. This is what it's all about! This is... A swimming bag? Love, love. Correct! Love, love! Whoa! Then that means... That's right! I have swimsuits for everyone! Well, it's cool swimsuits actually! I hope that's okay! Are you telling us to go swimming? In a situation like this? It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just if you wanna go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as if to go swimming in a situation like this. Uh, that's right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my loins agree. <laughs> See? Oh. Uh, your tender loins? I understand. Wait. Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey. How long has it been since I last swam in the o in the sea? <laughs> All right, let's go change. Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get the swimsuit from Osami. 
and ran straight to the hotel to change. What are you going to do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> But if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There is nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? Hmm. Don't talk to me. Swimming blows, but to talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own business. Man, he's so blonde. You're not gonna swim? Sleepy. I'm like really, really sleepy right now. I see. It'd be a problem if you fell asleep while we were swimming. I'd probably... I'd probably drawn. More like definitely drawn. But to be sleepy in a situation like this, she's sure got some bold nerves. You're not gonna swim, Byakuya? Of course not. That's enough. However, don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. Different reasons? <laughs> you can't accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? Coward? What? That Usami thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you going to swim? I simply don't like ocean water. It's too salty. That's not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. <laughs> ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned! As Osami said that, I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. This water's too salty! It's not going easy on me! Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Okay. Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? It feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun. I... I... <laughs> yep, yep. I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. <laughs> Let's give up the base and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of an of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it right. Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it. Huh? Ajime? Did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Hey, don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? 
these strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Hey, what's going on? What did you do? It's obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way. Something like this shouldn't be happening. And that exact... And at that exact moment... Just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. Ah, ah, my check, my check! Ah, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> Surprise? You were totally surprised! Right? Well then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. <laughs> this voice. If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. Hey, wait. Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Mm. It's best if we go too. Tepperwork Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! But what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Shit, just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Chapelwalk Park, right? Du siehst du da? Warum? There's just too many, Mr. Krabs. Hi! I'll just tap on them later. You crabs better run while you still can. <laughs> As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be he heard ringing through the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? Uh, hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! Was ist schlimm? Die andere Visual Novel, das Dreier-Set. Welche meinst du denn jetzt? Ist er? that I have made my dashing appearance. The first thing I need to say is... This is so freaking lame! Lame! I say lamer than the lamest... Lamer sauce! Oh wait, lamer sauce? Is that tasty? Hey, hey. 
just as I thought. It was you. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Oh, shut up! Hey, um... I'm livid, you know. And I'm about ready to buff thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just watch with this hot robbing school trip crap anyway. I'm bored. So hopelessly bored. This just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this force right now. What are you thinking? You've gotta make this, you know. Meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is... <laughs> other people's misery and despair. <laughs> what the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What? What is going on? What is this thing? Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Manokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick... Yeah! Opening! Then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> this is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart. Shove itself in, you know? No! That's a no no! That's a big no no! Ta da! All done! What? What is this? Supposed to look like look weird like this. Change me back to normal. What's this? My my, defying your big brother's fashion sense. Is Monomi a little troublemaker? Hey. Big brother, Monomi. My little sister. The current position is too wishy washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister, Monomi. <laughs> Though it's only an external setting, after all. Why do you have to be your little sister? Big sister then? You wanna be the older sister then got separated at, at birth? I don't like this. Hmm, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Call me big brother. So that's how it's gonna be? Mono me! From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Oh, uh, oh even the display changed to mono me. Won't forgive you. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. Stupid fool! Do you think you can win against me? No! It hurts a lot when you punch me. Wie schlimm mit den ganz vielen Spiel äh, mit ganz viel Spielzeit Stunden Stunden Spielzeit ähm ja ich würde länger brauchen 
weil ich vorlese, das stimmt. Und mh, weil ich Pausen einlege und wie jetzt zum Beispiel. Kurze Pipi-Pause. Weiter geht's. How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. What is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other. That's like completely insane. <laughs> If only I still had this magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> It's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a one second opening is life threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, what is with this stupid performance? Huh? <laughs> Who's freaking knows? But it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? What is this? What's going on? Hamas <laughs> Vich. Ah, now is she re weird looking? Weird looking? She matches me now, you know? How insensitive. What the? This morph What did you say? What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? I'm not a tanuki! I'm a bear! I'm on a kuma! What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal, I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. This is Monokuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway, regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point, On what the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along has no simulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey. You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for waiting. So let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are s the contestants. Are you getting contestants? I won't forgive you. What are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Ah! Oh, it hurts a lot when you kick me, too. Such a dumb child. Jeez, your brain chew is tiny, Monomi. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. Explain. Now then, we got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> What do you mean, K killing school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other. Wow. Kill each other, I see. Are you kidding me? K kill each other? No way, no way, no way. What are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. If you want of this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without g getting caught. Class trial? That's right. The class trial is the real charm of the killing school trip. Allow me to explain. If one of you gets murdered, 
The surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the class trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by the popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened kill will be punished. The rest may continue the school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who get away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words, which means, if you kill someone and to make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating that word punish over and over. What the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. That is... <laughs> execution? Punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw. Hmm. After a method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling and poisoning. The shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet. A theme park of murder. Pop-tastic! That's what in the killing school trip is all about! <laughs> I clutch my chest without realizing it. Which, with each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain curse through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with me. That's right. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? Way. I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill, someone is entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through this killing school trip in a healthy and positively positive manner. What's going on? Wait just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, isn't it obvious? There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Uh, Hold on! You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! What a fight! Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare to try kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Ah, uh, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. If you guys wanna do things by force, then I sh have to fight back with a little force by of my own. Force? What are you gonna do? 
search our gods who dwell between light and darkness in accordance with our contract i summon thee now come forth mana beasts I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blandly out of this world. What is this? Did the statue move? Wrong! That's no statue, they're mono beasts! Monster! Hey. No, I just said they're mono beasts. And the strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. And that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No! This can't be! This is just too weird! Don't tell me! Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare, he says. He just admitted that his brain is a total flower patch. Unbelievable. Jeez, you guys sure are a spectacle bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow nations of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid, ignorant, cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone! Please stay back! I will protect everyone! Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Uh, what's this? Huh? Uh, I know, this is nausea. Your sick, sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go! It's punishment time! Alright then. It's decided you'll be my example to everyone! First stage and my enemy is already dead. What? Is this a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Not these are dreadful weapons of destruction. The sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. That's right, this is what I wanted. This feeling of despair, giving an example, was totally the right call. 
unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were uh, completely frozen, uh, though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now. Now then, I believe I've made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Because I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere won't work on me at all. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. <clears throat> there are the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society or reality. Now then... Enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip! After he said his piece, Monokuma and his monobeast vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had the tired expression on our pale faces. That's... What just happened? Um... I won't believe! I won't believe! I just won't believe it. This is... That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those monobies or whatever they are called are machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they are machines. It means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were... Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey, who is it? Who? Uh, <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind however, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines or even of whoever controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of us. Ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but even I'm no different, so I can be truly confident that something like this is 
that isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that it outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything, even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day, a very meaningful, meaningful day f full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun and this tropical island was the stage. Juhu, wir haben durch das Prolog geschafft. Uhu, 16 Students von Anfang an. Also haben wir alle. Ein Schlag. Forscher Broken Wand. Oh, wie traurig. Yes. So, rule 5. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Rule 6. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Rule 7. If the blackened is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. Rule 8. As a reward, the surviving blackened will be forgiven of the crime and allowed to leave this island. Rule 9. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Rule 10. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. Rule 11. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions is this regard or not limited. Last rule. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. 
I sat on the beach, paralyzed with thought. Uh, bench, beach, sorry. <laughs> Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job, hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands, like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky, I'd grown accustomed to... I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I started blank, as I stared blankly into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The students who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word and eventually everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on the first night, a night so beautiful it enhanced, enchanted me. And yet my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Destination despair or day one. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now ten PM. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye. Damn, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Damn it! As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto that bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore, I just wanted to be alone forever. I have no body I can trust. Because I even... Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, 
even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't live unless you kill someone, I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. I sc a scream erupted from my mouth. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? I have to schrein jetzt. I began to lose my voice and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance, as if the waves were murmuring into my ears. That's no longer the world you, know, you knew, and once again I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I wanted to sleep if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if, by chance, I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Wanna go my theater? Ahem! Uncle Robot 2! To those of you who purchased Uncle Robot 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much! To those who are borrowing Uncle Robot 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend, You always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world, it genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So. Make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-robbing action to your heart's content. Until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest! Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. Immer diese Bugs. Ja, Lou, musst du jetzt lernen, Bugs fixen. I guess for now, I should go outside. No, no, no! You're not allowed to go out! Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons? Hey, um, I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got ahead of myself and made too many. But I thought I'd be a waste to ju just throw them away. So I've hidden them all over the island. They're scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Because I said so, you can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you out until you find it. Well, Good luck! Damn it, that selfish stuffed animal. Oh, wo war das denn nochmal? Ah, da oben. 
Also left you some mono coins. I'm so generous. This coin can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the rocket punch market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too. So do your best and look for them. <laughs> if you find them, surprise, surprise. What? Never mind. I should just go. There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and it looks easy to use, but I've never really felt comfortable showering. Well, it's this kind of situation after all. This is where the Monokuma plushies are placed. Putting stuff like this here without my permission. This bed is pretty comfortable. This room has a lot of windows. They probably wanted it to feel tropical and open. Well, this isn't really the time to be grateful for that. Ah! Ah! Huh? Oh, just you! Don't scare me like that! I could say the same for you. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Damn it! I'm not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh. The bridge, you know? Remember that bridge at the central island? Did something happen to it? Uh. No shit, why the hell else would I be here? This is bad. Those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're, they're blocking them off. Wrong. They are not monsters. They are mono beasts. Oh my god, he's here! So cool! The mono beasts are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. If those monsters are his gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it! Oh, so annoying! I can't stand this anymore! Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Oh, man. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We're gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy a vacationing here now. Hey. Hey, what's with all this noise? A monster! <laughs> and I came all the way here to get you both, but if you're going to call me a monster. Um, you're here to get us? Well, obviously. I was told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting? Waiting at the restaurant? Damn it! <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. Ah! I'm out of here. Hey, where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. I guess I'll he head over to the restaurant. Richtung. Huh? I thought 
everyone was waiting at the restaurant. Yep. I thought I'd get some gaming un until everyone else arrived. Mm. But I guess I should get going too. Playing video games all morning, huh? She truly is the ultimate gamer. You're late, Hajime. And where, where is Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... But... Running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run anyway. That's a weirdo. However... After what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? What do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening. And even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Understand? Yep, yep. Not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. So... Why have you gathered us here? <laughs> not yet, not until Kazuichi arrives. Ah, uh, wait a sec, that means the reason you told us to come here. Pointing! Oh, Apparently, Monsieur Bakakuya has something to tell us. Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible! There's no way we can fight that thing. I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit! Anything is impossible with a fighting spirit! Let me tell you. A bold boast. However, let me give you some advice. The truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey! Let's start talking already! <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Jeez! Fine! I'll just bring Kaizuichi myself then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. A little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Mahiro. <laughs> Maybe I could run away too. Just kidding. <laughs> Disgusting moron. That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food? come from anyway. <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. Huh? <laughs> they even have crab and shrimp. Aww. Crab and shrimp are um, such pain to eat. I had them as much as I had meek and ugly stuttering face. <laughs> Your ugly stuttering face? Gross. That's it. That's the face right here. There. Why? Are you being so mean? <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? Honestly. You should stop now. Oh! I got it! Tero Tero prepared this food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. Eh? You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. <laughs> this is bad. Nom nom. Tastes yummy to me. No, 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 no. Just you me, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes you me would still be considered shit. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowy peasant food, how rude. Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand? I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourselves. What? what does that mean? Well done. 
Well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. There's no mistaking it. In fact, your panties should drop too, like the blank thong Miss Peko is wearing, for example. Is that we buy food wars? That they all look when something lecker is? Did you say? You creep. How do you know about that? He guessed correctly. However, if Terotero did not prepare this food, then the one who did this uh, would it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy, right? Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to work like that? Oh, man. Stop, don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Careful. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know? <laughs> I just want to go home already. Ah! What the? <laughs> okay. I, I tripped. Can you even call that trippy? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. No! I'm so embarrassed. Please help me. Ah! She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. Okay, Lou. <lacht> ja, wieder liegt. Vielen Dank fürs Vorbeigucken. Guten schönen Abend noch. Ciao. We, we should help her up. Are you okay? My head is dropping a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um. Anyway, everybody's here right now, right? Then let's get going. Mm. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. Listen. First, I have a question for all you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Who the fuck you knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No. You forgot about cheating. attention. Which means the answer are, are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bot? Bond? I... This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can accomplish. It's obvious. You all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if you want to escape this island, we need to promise each other it will work together. Well. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is not he not embarrassed? <laughs> I just figured that was kinda lame, huh? However, 
he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemies individuals, under these circumstances we must fight as a group. However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? And what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciplined leadership, provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. Even sports team needs captains after all. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey. Wait a second. What? What is it? Jeez. What did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it if you're being too forceful. Deciding to the leader deciding to be the leader all on your own and why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I'm the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait. My hero, please wait. It's true that Biakoya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But that may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonia can. No. No, Paris, they thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. It's all clear now. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. <laughs> so reliable. It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of a guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate effluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. Now then, let us move on the topic. At hand for real this time. I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. It's at Jabberwock Park at the Central Island. Come, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Yako turned and left the restaurant stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Jeez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Though everyone made similar compliance, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Aber ich mache an dieser Stelle Pause. Es ist... Uh, ich bin... Uh, müde. Ich wünsche allen einen schönen Montag noch. Montagabend. Und vielleicht sehen wir uns morgen oder übermorgen. Wer weiß das schon. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Vielen Dank bei allen, die da waren. Wir sehen uns. Maybe next time. See you guys. Bye bye.